give the people what they want. <laughs> it's the summertime What Up Though interview series. And of course, the champ is here. <laughs> the champ is here. Welcome, Money Mayweather. Thank you very much for joining me on the Rose Report. What up, Jalen? Always had a jumper, Rose. I appreciate the love. A lot of people that are fans of both of ours, they realize we're both Michigan natives. I've been rooting for you your entire career. Congratulations on all your success, champ. Thank you. But you know what I tell everybody? You know, you know when you guys lost in a championship, I cried. That's love. But Michigan, we started the long shorts yes, with the black socks. Yes, indeed. The Fab Five. Um, unbelievable. Thank you for the love, champ. Eight-time champ, five divisions, 44-0. So I've heard this question be asked to you a lot of times, <laughs> but a lot of but people— never, But never from you. Exactly. So you signed a six-fight deal with Showtime. Congratulations. Thank That's you. That's a huge mega deal. As a matter of fact, Forbes said, the number one grossing athlete. <laughs> I know that has to feel good. So you have five more left. That'll put you at 49. I know who was 49 and no. Rocky Marciano. <laughs> and I know you're a historian of the fight game. Yes, yes. Does breaking that record truly mean something to you? Um, just uh, what, you know, um, I really don't focus on breaking anyone's record. My ultimate goal was always to come into the sport of boxing and um, give the sport my best. And um, things played out well. I've broken every record in the sport of boxing far as landing punches on the, higher, the highest percentage, taking the less punishment, um, being at the top for the longest, um, breaking the pay-per-view um, uh, numbers, um, breaking the highest, um, you know, um, we just done a, a record-breaking number the other day for live gate. We done um, 20, I think 20 million at the gate. We broke men, I broke my own record actually, which is a great thing, but, um, what else can I say, man? Like I always say, nothing but hard work, dedication, prayers, and belief in a good team. So Superman had Lex Luger. Batman had the Joker. Yes. Boxing has you. Yes. You're the villain. Whether When you were Pretty Boy Floyd, as a fan of yours, people heard us coming, but now you're kicking down the door as money, May. You're the villain now. I was at the I presser. You know, you they know was giving you the booze. They was giving you the cheers. How do you feel about that the role? The thing is this. I'm not, I don't feel like... I'm really. A, I don't feel like I'm a villain, you know. I don't, and I don't feel like it's bragging or boasting. If you, no different from you, um, if you tell a guy, I'm gonna score 30 points tonight, and you score 40, you did what you say you're gonna do. He can say, well, you scored 10 more uh, than 30. You still did what you say you was gonna do. It's not my fault that I'm making <laughs> A and B level fighters look like they're D level fighters. That's not my fault. Only thing I can only thing I can do is continue to go out there, stay focused, and be the best. It's not bragging if you if you can back it up. Are you mad that I'm not taking any punishment? It's not cool to take punishment. Not at all. I've seen a lot of punch drunk fighters. Um, I feel like the less you get hit, the longer you last in the sport. Quick feet, immaculate defense. I've always been a fan of how you kept your family a tight incubator. Yes. With your uncle, with your dad. So here's a funny question for you. Unsanctioned match, both in their prime, who wins about? Roger Sr.? I'm mean, sorry, Floyd Sr.? Uh-huh. Or your uncle Roger? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a real good question. You know, my dad had the weight advantage. Roger has the punching power. So you really don't know. That's a great matchup. September 14th. Yes. Big time bout. Please Another... talk to us about that bout. Normally, I don't like to tell people where I'm going to be, but I'm going to be there September 14th. That's a can't miss. Okay. Um, September 14th, we have a young champion from Mexico. He's the WBC champion at junior middleweight. I'm the current WBA junior middleweight champion and the WBC waterweight champion, so we're having a unification bout. Um, he's... 42-0, I'm 44-0, and um, this is a fight that everyone wants to see. So um, this is not like the Pacquiao fight. We made this fight very, very easy. Um, I'm the pioneer in the sport of boxing of random blood in your intestine, and all I ask um, is the, fight, the fighters that I face take random blood in your intestine. If that would have happened for the Pacquiao fight, we would have seen the fight in the past, but, you know, um, 
you know, no disrespect to Pacquiao, but his career is kind of on a, on a decline. And uh, more power to him. I wish he can bounce back because any true champion can bounce back. Um, that's what being a champion is, being able to deal with adversity and being able to bounce back. Floyd, you got a lot of fans. Can you talk to the young fighters out there, the aspiring fighters? Just take us through the day in the life of training. We see you at the press <laughs> conferences. We see you on All Access. You blew up 24-7. But just talk to the young fighters or people that may want to get into the sport through the day in the life of training to be Floyd Mayweather. I'm going to talk about the training, but let me touch on one subject. What's crazy about Floyd Mayweather, I changed the whole sport of boxing. Um, you no longer see heavyweights on, on TV no more. I know. That used to be the Don Dada growing up. Absolutely. Heavyweights used to be uh, the guys, even in the middleweights. Um, I, got in, I got involved in the sport, and um, it's all about the small guys now. But, you know, what advice do I have for young and up-and-coming fighters or young, young up-and-coming athletes, um, have tunnel vision. Stop reading your, your articles. Stop reading your press articles. When they get to saying uh, you're the next um, Dr. J or you're the next Michael Jordan or you're the next this guy or that guy, focus on staying in your lane and being the first of whoever you are. You know, I like I said before, I take my hat off to guys like Muhammad Ali, who paved the way for me to be where I'm at, and Sugar Ray Leonard. And the list goes on and on, even Sugar Ray Robinson. But this is a different era. This is a different era. This is a different time. No different from when you was playing basketball. The game is, um, the, the players are bigger, better, stronger, and faster. But, you know, um, Jawan Howard, he still he still got a, a place on the roster. You know, even, two even rings. Though, even though he didn't get a chance to suit up. You know, I, you know, you're still my guy. <laughs> Absolutely. So speaking of that, a lot of people don't realize that you're a fanatic as it relates to other sports. So much so, you bet six, <laughs> and I hear rumors, sometimes seven <laughs> figures on football and basketball. Can you talk about, like, um, some of your favorite bets in either one? Well, normally I don't really talk about the best, but you know what? You my guy, my home. I got to say, the Midwest is the best. Absolutely. The Midwest is the best. The Fab Five, the best college team ever. Thank you, family. So um, I like the bet. You know, um, Oregon. I got paid on Oregon a lot this year. Oregon was the bet. I was betting, um, I bet 1.1 on Oregon. Oh, wow. I bet a lot of big bets. because I don't want to keep talking about all the, big, <laughs> all the big numbers that I bet because then, every, you know, I already cannot go anywhere. And you know what? I love the fans. I want to thank the fans. And when I see you guys out and about, I'm not able to take pictures with everybody. I'm not able to sign autographs for everybody. But you, you must realize, I want to go to the mall some days and shop. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to go to the grocery store. I want to be able to go to take my children to, to the theme park. But you, you must realize, with being a professional athlete of my caliber, it's a gift and it's a curse that comes along with it. So any fan that's listening right now, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting Jalen Rose. Uh, I mean, he's unbelievable. And um, I was just you know. at your presser, Floyd, and the thing <laughs> that I really admired, and this is not a shot at Alvarez. It's just an absolute fact. You guys did what you did. You went nose to nose. By the way, you've been doing it for two weeks. Dude. How did the guy smell? I mean, you've been two well, weeks. You know what? You know, Alvarez is <laughs> a cool guy. He's a cool okay. guy. Yeah. Okay, so, but he signed a couple of autographs for his fans, and I'm pretty sure he's getting ready to train, and he left, and respectfully so. Floyd, you were there an hour and a half signing autographs, as soon as doing I leave, interviews. As soon as I leave your show. Jalen, I'm going right back out there and I'm going to sign some autographs because the fans can either make you or break you. And to everybody that's listening on, on this great show, remember, I'm humble because I know where my blessings come from. You know, I'm not cocky because I said, you know what, I believe in myself. I believe in my skills. I believe in my talent. You know, that's not being cocky. That's, that's just, I strongly believe in, in my skills. And there's a difference between being talented and God gifted and if you're God gifted and you push yourself that much harder at whatever you do 
No one can stop you. 17 years, Floyd. And I know you got to get out of here. On <laughs> top a, of the game. That's a long time. How do you continue to not only stay on top of the game, but continue to constantly stay motivated and reinvent yourself? <laughs> yes. Well, people don't know. Um, I, you know, I took a, a small vacation. It wasn't took a little time off. And I left the sport, you know, pretty boy Floyd. You know, I came back older, wiser with a with a whole new look. I left with hair. <laughs> then I left with hair and I left as pretty boy Floyd. I came back a ball head with the gold tee. I was ball head like the Fab Five. I came back ball head <laughs> with the gold tee. With the gold tee. Came back like a, a like a wrestler. Reinv- reinvented myself. That's what it's about. You know, um, staying relevant. You know, Floyd Mayweather, uh, whether you write a negative story or a positive story, you guys have kept have kept me relevant. So I'm thankful. I don't buy magazines with myself on the cover. I don't um I don't uh go to different websites and read stories about myself. Only thing I do is when it's time to train, I dedicate myself to my craft and I stay focused. But I'm where I'm at because I'm because I'm God gifted and because of my hard work. But Al Heyman, I don't if I don't care if you're a basketball player a football player, a singer, whatever you do, sports or entertainment, you need to get in touch with Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby and do business with these guys. These guys structure me the biggest deal in sports history. Um, I think Alex Rodriguez deal was something like, I think, 10 years. And I'm- they trying to get from under that. Like yeah. Showtime got a discount with you as they look <laughs> at it now. Yes. but um, Big shout Steven Espinosa. Steven Espinosa, man. Um, Showtime, C- CBS, Steven Espinoza. Um, you, got, you guys gave me everything um, that I asked for. The great thing is about my deal is I wrote my own check. I was able to go in there and say, this is what I want, X, Y, Z. And Leonard and Al structured the deal and said, you know what? Give, and, and Steven said, give him whatever he wants. And CBS said, get a guy whatever he wants. They done their, their homework, um, checked my track record. And, and what's so crazy is I'm... Sp- I'm the only one that's endorsed by my own company, the Money Team. So if you're listening, go to themoneyteam.com right now. Get a shirt. Get a hat. Support the movement. It's not about being rich rich financially. It's about being rich at heart. That's what the Money Team stands for. Champ, you've been a great ambassador for the sport. Your versatility from Huffington Post to Don Diva, from the White House to the neighborhood at the MGM on September 14th. We're going to be there to support you. Hopefully you can get to 50 and 0. Fab Five, we're looking for number 45. i see you guys September 14th. Watch All Access. And whoever listening right now, if you don't have Showtime, call your local cable company and get Showtime. Continue to support Jalen Rose. Any movement, follow him on Twitter and follow him on Instagram. Your man, Floyd Money Mayweather. Thank you, family. Respect. Appreciate it.